Cut. Sandor, can you just say the line, man? Come on, we're losing daylight out here. I won't say that line. But think of the memes, Sandor. They'll be so dank. You can take your memes and you can shove them up your bloody f***ing cunt hole for all I care. It's a stupid f***ing line and I'm not saying it. Mm, pretty please? No. Oh man, come on. Why not? Because I'm still mad at you. You're mad at me? For what? It took you far too long to escape your captivity. What? Too long? I did the best I could. I killed Cousin Alton. Also, your stump hand is weird and I don't like it. What? Why, of all the... No, I am so breaking up with you in like three or four years. How many Dornishmen does it take to ruin a television show? Please don't. Uh, I don't know, Bron. How many? Well, it's so oh, for the love of God's brawn, don't finish that sentence. Sir Barristan, have you seen Dario Naharis? There's a, like, totally urgent matter that I need him to help me with over in my tent. Yes, Your Grace, about Mr. Naharis, he seems to be a bit different this morning. Different? Different how? Perhaps it is best that you see for yourself. Hey, Khaleesi, it's a me, Dario! Uh, on behalf of King Joffrey, I would like to formally welcome Prince Oberyn to King's Landing. So, where, uh, is Prince Oberyn? Right then, uh, we we'll find him ourselves, don't worry. Whoops, uh, sorry, uh, I was a uh, bit in the way there, uh, my bad. Uh. <clears throat> so as I was saying, it's a trick question. It's the Dornish women you've got to watch out for. So how come you haven't let Sansa go yet, Jamie? I seem to recall that being one of the terms of your release. Come on, where am I supposed to send her to? Her entire family is dead now. And she's no longer betrothed to Joffrey either. This seems as safe a place for her as any other. What if she wound up somewhere even worse? That wasn't part of the deal, Jamie! Sansa's coming with me. You've got till the end of the next episode to make it happen. Got it? Yes, ma'am. What was that? Uh, I didn't hear you. Yes, ma'am. Good boy. Hey, it's me, your savior, Sir Johnson's Hollard, and I'm here to save you from- Well, it's about time! Where the heck have you been, anyway? You were supposed to be here, like, a year and a half ago! I didn't think you were even coming anymore! Well, I- uh... Oh, well, better late than never, I guess. Let's get through this quickly, shall we? Um... Oh, gentle knight! Thank you ever so much for giving me this necklace! It's definitely not suspicious that you've appeared out of nowhere after two years of ignoring me to hand over the last valuable thing that you own for no reason! Don't worry, I'll make sure to wear it to Joffrey's party too! Wink wink! Okay, thanks! Bye! And so, those are the security details for your wedding slash sweet 16. Any questions, your grace? I don't need any security. Stupid! Nobody would dare cause any trouble at my party. I mean, it doesn't hurt to be careful. Your grace still has many enemies and- The only thing I need to be careful about is not being not careful enough. Sh shut up. Can I say I got to you some pretty flowers? Ugh, seriously? Flowers? The severed heads you got me last time were way better. Come on, Dario, what happened to you? It's like you're a totally different person now. Gonna have to be a different man. Hello. Ah, Prince Oberyn, so glad to finally make your acquaintance. Whatever you say, man. I've heard that you aren't overly fond of Lannisters. Mm. Hey, are you guys Lannisters? Yeah, we're Lannisters. Who wants to know? <laughs> ah, oh, oh. Mm. 
I suppose you could say that. That would be an accurate description, yes. Well, if there's anything I could possibly do to sway you on the matter, by all means, please tell me. You could kill your father. That would make me a fan. Um, yes, well, why don't we just, uh, play that one by ear, hmm?